Jigglypuff. Like, is that a thing? Hey guys, it's Jay, and today I'm here with something super exciting. I'm going to be sorted into my Hogwarts house. Which is like something that I never thought I would actually do because I never thought I would actually read Harry Potter, so I was like, I don't need to know what house I'm in. But as you guys know, I recently read Harry Potter and I loved it so much. I have my reaction to reading it for the first time up there if you want to check it out. So I figured I would take the Pottermore test and we'll see where I go. Kind of exciting, kind of terrifying. You guys all said that I was a Hufflepuff, so I guess we'll see. I don't know how to show you guys like what's on my screen because I'm not very technologically smart. So I'm just going to read the questions to you guys and then answer them and then I'll tell you my results and we'll see how that works. Hopefully it's okay. So without further ado, let us get started. I am on the Pottermore website and we are going to begin the sorting ceremony. Moon or stars? I say stars. What are you most looking forward to learning at Hogwarts? Apparition and disapparition, being able to materialize and dematerialize at will. Ooh, that would be cool. Transfiguration, turning one object into another object. <sighs> Flying on a broomstick. Hexes and jinxes. Oh, that's mean. All about magical creatures and how to befriend, care for them. <gasps> <gasps> Secrets about the castle. Every area of magic I can. No, I want to do the animals. See, but then transfiguration would also be cool, but like, animals are where my heart is. Once every century, the Flutterby bush produces flowers that adapt their scent to attract the unwary. If it lured you, it would smell of a crackling log fire, the sea, fresh parchment, ew, home. It would smell like home. Which would you rather be envied, imitated, trusted, praised, liked? or feared. I would want to be trusted. Because I feel like trust is a big thing. How would you like to be known to history? The wise? The bold? The great? Or the good? I don't know. I think I would want to be the great. You and two friends need to cross a bridge guarded by a river troll who insists on fighting one of you before he will let you pass. Do you attempt to confuse the troll into letting all three of you pass without fighting? See, that would be the smart thing. So just drawing lots to decide which of you will fight. Suggest that all three of you should fight without telling the troll. Volunteer to fight. Yeah, I ain't doing that. <laughs> I you would attempt to confuse it. You gotta use your charm, you know? You gotta be like, you know you wanna let us pass, right? Yeah. If you were attending Hogwarts, which pet would you choose to take with you? Oh my god, I want a cat. Tabby cat. Three toed tree for toad. Why would you pick a toad? Like, Harlequin toad? No. Dragon toad? No! Why are there so many toads? Natterjack toad, common toad, barn owl, snowy owl, brown owl, screech owl, tawny owl, white cat, <gasps> oh, black cat, ginger cat, Siamese cat. No, I'm going with the white one. Yeah, white cat. They're so cute. Or black cat. I would like a black cat too. Black or white? Uh, black. I'm a Hufflepuff. <laughs> Congratulations on being sorted into Hufflepuff. Now I can learn about my Hufflepuff house. How did you guys know? Like, I still don't even know what a Hufflepuff is. Great, let's see what a Hufflepuff means, because I still don't know. Apparently, Pomona Sprout, Typhadora Tonks, and Cedric Diggory are all Hufflepuffs. Don't know what that is. I'm loyal, patient, fair, hardworking, and true, so... <laughs> Congratulations, I'm Perfect Gabriel Truman, and I'm delighted to welcome you to Hufflepuff House. Our emblem is the badger, an animal that is often underestimated because it lives quietly until attacked, but which, when provoked, can fight off animals much larger than itself, including wolves. Our house colors are yellow and black, and our common room lies one floor below the ground on the same corridor as the kitchen. See, this is good because your girl likes food, so this is okay. There are a few things you should know about the Hufflepuff House. First of all, let's deal with a perennial myth about the place, which is where the least clever house. Wrong. I'm smart, okay? Hufflepuff is certainly the least boastful house, but we've produced just as many brilliant witches and wizards as any other. Want proof? Look up Grogan Stump, one of the most popular ministers of magic of all time. He was a Hufflepuff, as were the successful ministers are. Tamesia Lufkin and Douglas McPhail. I don't know who those people are. Then there's the World Authority on Magical Creatures, Newt Scamander. This is why I'm a Hufflepuff, because I said animals. Is that right? Is that why? Damn it. That's okay. Hufflepuffs are trustworthy and loyal. We don't shoot our mouths off, but cross us at your peril like our emblem, the badger. We will protect ourselves, our friends, and our families against all comers. Nobody intimidates us. 
Okay, that's kind of me. Maybe I am Hufflepuff. <laughs> I wanted to be a Slytherpuff. However, it's true that Hufflepuff is a bit lacking in one area. Oh. We've produced the fewest dark wizards of any house of the school. Oh yeah! Hufflepuff common room and dormities have never been seen by outsiders. Like badgers, we know exactly how to lie low and how to defend ourselves. Once you've opened the barrel, crawl inside and along the passageway behind it and you will emerge into the coziest common room of them all. It is round and earthy and low-ceilinged. It always feels sunny and its circular windows have a view of rippling grass and dandelions. See if it's low-ceilinged? I ain't gonna fit in there. I'm too tall. Ding Hufflepuffs. Of house professor Pomona Sprout is head of herbology and she brings the most interesting specimens, some of which dance and talk to decorate our room. I can talk to plants. Our house ghost is the friendliest of them all, the fat friar. <gasps> I loved him in the first book, he's so cute. You'll recognize him easily enough. He's plump and wears monk robes and he's very helpful if you get lost or are in any kind of trouble. And once again, congratulations on becoming a member of the friendliest, most decent and tenacious house of them all. Okay, so like, I guess it's okay to be a Hufflepuff. I mean, loyal is good. Trustworthy is good. Okay, I'm okay with this. Alright guys, so I am officially a Hufflepuff. So let me know down below what house you're in. And I mean, like, I feel like I, I fit well into the Hufflepuff life. I'm... I'm loyal. I don't know about patient. I'm not patient at all. So that's kind of like, eh. I try to be fair. So I mean, that's good. I'm pretty hardworking and I'm pretty trustworthy. So I feel like this is a good fit for me. So hello, fellow Hufflepuffs. It's nice to meet you. I'm officially a Hufflepuff. I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye.